shortage has reached a crisis. Right now, many mothers are desperate to feed their babies, and Congress is now pressing manufacturers to find a solution. And here in our state, people are really stepping up to help. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the answer desk with their stories and also some important tips for parents. Susan. Erin, it's important to point out this is a nationwide problem, and today the House Oversight Committee in Washington has started an investigation on this shortage. And in that time of crisis, however, moms are helping other moms. Women all over the country are trying to feed their babies, and finding formula is difficult. One of my good friends called me the other day, and she said she just bought the last three boxes of formula. Chelsea Anselmo feels lucky. She has enough formula to feed her six-month-old daughter, Nina. She orders a special kind of organic European formula. And right now, the company is honoring current customers, but are turning away new ones. Many store shelves are bare, and some moms are trying to stretch their supplies. We don't want families to water down formula because that can lead to things like salt imbalances, which can cause seizures. Doctors are encouraging women to look for substitutes and even generic brands. But moms who need specialized formula will have an even tougher time. The Department of Public Health runs WIC, a federally funded nutrition program for women, infants and children. They say we continue to offer as many substitute formulas and that we are working closely with local agency staff to help families find retailers that have in stock. During this crisis, moms are helping moms. Sarah Levins, a Glastonbury mother, has extra Enfamil. She's offering it to any mom who needs it. And I have seen that. Um, I've, I know personally people who um, are pumping or breastfeeding and they have offered their frozen stash to new moms in order to help bridge the gap. The formula shortage is due to supply chain issues and a safety recall, which has shut down a major plant in Michigan. Doctors believe this shortage, however, is only temporary, but it could still last for a couple more months. Live in the studio, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness.